on the Glass Cannon Podcast. As soon as they open the door, I'm there and I will attack them. Lucky with two blades. Oh, they're so dead, dude. The heroes braced for battle. Use <laughs> one action lot. to enter monastic archer stance Smart. and then a hold. When they come through the door, put it through their eyes. The door opens <laughs> with a very familiar looking staff Man. covered in vines and flowers and death. No. Though their enemy was fierce. I'll just go ahead and crush my initiative. Oh. <laughs> Fire when ready. Flurry you blows Fire with when my ready. Bow. She's going to devise a strategy. Yes, <laughs> let's see. Oh, I love this. This is the I best. Love they came together as a team. That is a hit. Yeah. Oh. A <laughs> bunch of bad axes! <laughs> and cleared the way forward. You killed two oak stewards, a viper, uh, two gremlin-like creatures, and another gremlin-like creature in back-to-back -back combat, standing here in this workshop that is completely dilapidated, a door on the other bridge outside leading farther to the west. Yeah, we can't go that way. Well, you're dead now. Now we'll go wherever we want. The adventure continues. Seems like things are a little weird here. No. Welcome back to the Glass Cannon Podcast, Matthew. I need to tell you something. Go on. It's Christmas time. No. Oh, For fuck's sake, on. there's God. no need to be afraid. <laughs> At Christmas time, we let in light and we banish shade. How, how often do you banish shade from your life? Because I feel like there's a lot of shade being thrown at me, and I'd like to banish it. <laughs> I banish it every year, starting December 1st, when I play Christmas music, music so I can treasure it. Treasure it. Treasure. I don't love that we're recording this in September and I have to sing Christmas tunes, but damn it, when this comes out in a couple months, Neither people are going to expect it. You love it. Don't even. Yeah, you love it. I kind of love it. <laughs> <laughs> not, not getting tired of it at all. No, no. I heard like a Christmas commercial the other day. Uh, it was a little early and it wasn't even advertising Christmas. It was like for Target and they were doing some sale and I was just kind of like, huh. Huh? It was like the first frost. <laughs> <laughs> Felt it in my loins. Troy, I know you love like the Hallmark Christmas films. I know that you love. watch all of them. Oh. But are you, I, I, I'm curious about everybody. Are you a film crier? Do you get touched by like the Folgers Christmas commercial <sighs> when the son comes home from college? Are you like, oh, I'm a sappy Christmas guy. And that brother and sister are totally yeah, the brother and sex. Sister. Yeah, and the brother and sister <laughs> are, you Classic. think they're yeah. married and then you find out it's his brother. That if commercial. we knew that you cried all Christmas, I think that would make us feel a lot better. better. Uh, <laughs> I do. There are times when the emotion hits me. It doesn't take much. I mean, I'm watching Hallmark movies. Right. They are, <laughs> they are meant to tug at the heartstrings. And uh, I'll always tell my wife, like, because I'll stay up. She'll go to bed and I'll stay up and I'll watch like another one and then maybe I'll watch like a third or <laughs> or my fourth that day and uh, she'll wake up the next morning I was like man I watched a good one last night this guy his wife died and he was trying to find love again 
And I'll like, I'll start to, I'll be like, it was just really touching. Now, do am I crying in the moment? No, but like, I'm, I'm feeling emotions. I'm feeling emotion. That's what these Hallmark movies do so well is they, <laughs> oh my God, they Troy, make you, you cry. such a strange feeling. I feel emotions is yeah. the answer he arrived at. Are we surprised? No. Are these emotions? They kind of make this you This is like feel... Hallmark movies are a LaValle Voight Kampf test. That's what he's subjecting himself to every yes. year. He's just that... proving to himself that he's human. Yep. That's, that's what that the it is. Android test and yeah. the, yeah. that's what's later. Um, I don't know. It just, they, they really, they like, w they, they wrap you in a fireplace of Christmas warmth with a cup of cocoa. I like even the, the Halloween ones. They got some, some autumn ones. There's a great meme. That's like one of the cover boxes that says shove a pumpkin up my ass is the name of the film. Hell yeah. Uh, but <laughs> it's like, wait, coming what? What? you haven't seen wait, this wait, meme. Wait. <laughs> so what? many, so All many right, questions. So <laughs> there's, uh, that's a different story, but I'll tell you about the, basically there's, uh, it's, it's always network. like the, the, the guy. No, no, in the, no, let's hear the story about when you shoved a pumpkin up your ass. Just There's a guy and a girl, that. and they're like on the cover box. All the Hallmark movies, they all have like the same cover box. It's the guy and the girl, and they're just like staring off in the distance, but they've replaced the title oh, I with see. Shove a Pumpkin Up My Ass. Oh. <laughs> Hallmark presents Shove a Pumpkin Up My Ass. But the 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 Thanksgiving ones and the and the uh Halloween ones are good too because it'd be like, oh, I, I'm this, I'm this attorney in New York, but I have to go visit my dad in Vermont because his pumpkin farm is struggling. <laughs> and uh, the Halloween ones, do they like fall in love with a ghost or something? Like, there's one they like find that. Out he's been dead for forty years. <laughs> yeah. But she's a lawyer, and there's someone that's encroaching on his pumpkin land, and oh, she, she's never, coming to help. Look, they could never be together. He's just a small town pumpkin farmer. Well, he's, he's a big <laughs> shot lawyer. That's he's got this farm the hand original idea. Uh, he's got this farm hand that she went to uh, high school with. I'm. I'm kind of making up some of this plot, but this is no, exactly what a Hallmark no, plot would do. No, <laughs> and they start rekindling, but like she'll arrive in her hometown and she hasn't been there in like 20 years and she'll roll into like the little <laughs> shop that she used to go to as a kid. It's like, oh, Emily, home from college? She's like, no, I live in New York now. I'm a lawyer. And it's like, oh, what can I get you? And she orders like a pumpkin latte with a cider donut. And they just, they know how to like prick all the, the holiday feels. And this so happens. So you start crying at the, <laughs> at the donut? <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I it's start apple cider donut season. <laughs> I have like so I don't cry, but there is a Pavlovian response that happens in my body where I start like, oh, I feel the joy of the season. I feel I need an apple cider donut right Yeah, now, now I actually just I could I use an apple donut. cider donut. Have you not had uh, several dozen since the season began? <laughs> no. 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 I'm going apple picking tomorrow. No. Really? Yeah. Ooh. See, that's see that's what I'm like. Oh, like I was just thinking, I want to go pumpkin picking. I had, here we go, for the first time in my life. The, a, a new variety, not new, but it was new to me, variety of apple. And it was honestly the best apple I've ever had in my wow. life. What do they call it? It's called a sweet tango. Unfortunately, the T is shared with the word sweet and tango and it's one word. Sweet uh, tango. Sweet tango. Sweet tango. Sweet tango. But it's a- <laughs> Where did you get it? I got it at the Flatbush Food Co-op. Oh, cool. Uh, wow. But it was a- It's a bougie it's a, apple. It's a- <laughs> It's a hybrid of a honey was it crisp. like a $35 apple? No, it was on sale. <laughs> it was $33. Right. It was a, it's a hybrid of a, of, a, of a honey crisp, which I previously believed was the best kind of yes, apple. Yes, that's a great apple. Yeah, we've gone over this before. You're a sociopath. A Macintosh is the best type of apple. Oh, no, my God. No, oh, my God. No, that's that's your grandfather's apple. Yellow apples Wait, there are, are the best. There are people who think that... Macintosh old, isn't the best. That's an old apple. It's an old apple. It's, like it's, it's fine. Apple. Well, Macintosh is the best You see apple. like cave paintings of people enjoying Macintosh in France. You need... I thought you were all Macintosh last time we had this conversation. See, this is where the holidays Make crumble. Sick. Yeah. Maybe if you were we Abraham Lincoln, good, and then we'd be like, oh, four score and seven Macintosh <laughs> apples ago. Macintosh is the best apple. I mean, it's got the best taste. Are, are we not basing this on taste? Yeah. Anyways, what were and you And also say? how it makes your tummy feel afterwards. That's also true. When you have Brandy Smith, sensitive tummies. Great anyway, apple, but makes if, your tummy hurt. If out. anyone has a line on a sweet tango apple, because apparently the, you can only have them through September because they're so, they, they, they last only so long. Oh. I love them. I'll have to look that up. Sweet tango. Cider donuts. Uh, I don't like to give plugs um, without people paying for them, but there is an Instagram account I follow called the Cider Donateur. And <laughs> Donateur. He, he has gone to like every farm in the Northeast and raided their cider donuts. And so like, I'll follow some of his, uh, they grow them. No, like 
<laughs> yeah, he goes to the he cider mill. Why are they served there for the harvest? The farm. You've never been like a farm during. Yeah, like, you go to a lot of farms. Have I you ever been apple picking? <laughs> no. I mean, when I say I go to a store, buy a fucking apple. I don't no, know why am I doing all the work. Because then at the end, you go and get a little coffee and cider donuts. I can do that without picking f- fruit. We go. Maybe free. it's just an upstate New York thing, but like I go to a farm at least once a week, and my wife goes three times a week. Uh, just because like you go and you get your cider, your oh, coffee, Jersey, your donuts, your yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, it's good. It's like it's like you have to kill. The, you have to like you can't just uh, uh, you know outsource the killing of the animals. I honor the apple in my own way. Ah. <laughs> I don't have to. I eat the core whole. You gotta see how the apple's made, you know? I say a little prayer <laughs> to the apple spirit and then that absolves me. You gotta go to a farm. The one closest to right. our house does chocolate covered cider donuts. Oh. They are. Ooh. It wow. took me two hours to get here. Do you know how long <laughs> it would take me to get to a fucking farm? <laughs> I don't want a farm. <laughs> yeah. When I lived in the city, it was a long drive. It was two hours to get like to a place in Jersey. Uh, back. They had a great one in I Jersey. I got so many orchards near me now. Oh, oh yeah. I'm Next living I have a farm. Good life. Literally a 10 minute walk from my house. I cannot believe <laughs> My parents get my Christmas trees from that farm, I believe. Yeah. You're all bragging, and yet who has brought apple cider donuts to us New York Cityers? I bought apple cider I will, donuts yesterday. Next time and we record. In my house. Yeah. But I'm saying who brought them here? I brought I them once. I will on None Tuesday. But I okay. did, you weren't here for that. Remember I brought cider donuts once? I'm sorry. You're putting at me. Where was that? Because you remember. remember. If we're not here, it doesn't count. <laughs> <I lie. laughs> it was do the old actually. studio. <laughs> yes, you did. Oh. It was the old studio. You uh, did I brought bring. them from uh, Wilkins uh, Fruit and Fur Farm. Okay, well, that was three years ago. So do you want to- I'll bring some- You kidding me? I'll bring some fucking donuts in next time. I bet no, you no, won't. I, I am. Right. I am. Dude. I am. Reverse psychology. Oh, you're going to bring no, some no. in too? Yeah, I'm going apple picking. Oh, I'm worried we're going to have too many donuts. Said nobody. Never. <laughs> also, that's just a very, very strange sentence. To be like, and I'll bring, I'll bring in the uh, the donuts. I'm going apple picking. <laughs> Duh. What? Do I have, have my outfit picked out and everything? Overalls. Like, over. Oh. Are they little overalls? No, I have oh. this like really fuzzy. Uh, it's like a fuzzy uh, overshirt, and then it has like a matching hat and a matching bag, and it's all fuzzy. What's an overshirt? It's like a, it's like a, it's not an overshirt. It's like almost like a shirt jacket. It's Talk like, to me like about a, this overshirt. It's, 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 like, it's like a they, pullover. They sell them next to the laser clothes. <laughs> you guys don't know anything about fashion. We, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's uh, definitely true. That that's, shut them up real fast. <laughs> that's self-evident. Is it a sweatshirt? It is. It's like a pullover sweatshirt and like it's got a zip and like a little hood. So but it's hoodie. got this like brown flower pattern and it has <laughs> a matching a fuzzy hat and a matching fuzzy bag. Why does it have a different name? Then. I think you're the only person that's ever called it an overshirt in the history of civilization. Listen, Wait. English is hard. <laughs> Important question. Does the fuzzy bag, will the fuzzy bag serve as your apple bag? It could. It's a big bag. <laughs> All right, ready? Here's what you need to do when these donuts come in. And maybe if you want to do the donuts, I'll take care of this. Boom. Bottle of Fireball. Oh, my God. Boom. (laughs) Here we go. Jug of cider. Heat that fucking cider up. Throw a couple cinnamon sticks in. Not too many, Sydney. Not too many. It'll overpower it. I know. Yeah, Sydney. Gallon of Fireball in there. (laughs) A gallon? (laughs) And let me tell you. Fireball. Take those cider donuts. Pop them in your mouth. Drink some of that cider. You're going to feel like you're at a tailgate in the Midwest. You're going to feel like you're at a rave in the woods. A rave in the woods? In the fall. I don't want to be in either of those places right now. I'll tell you, it's going to make you wish you had an overshirt on. (laughs) Uh, Anyways, uh, stick around. We'll be right back.
we're back. We didn't get to my Bant talk pick, but we're just going to go along with the show. <laughs> just um, bank it. Bank it for that. We're going to bank it. I had a good one. Uh, we'll talk about it next time. But now we need to talk about the show that we're doing where several characters have already died nine episodes into the show. That's not true. Mm-mm. Okay. But it just death. feels that way. It feels that way. Yeah. yeah. I'm scared. Are you scared? Yes. Yes. I'm, I'm you very should be ner- scared. You I'm should nervous, be. and I'm also I'm nervous because Troy sends out very intimidating emails to all of us, where he's like, "Hey guys, just want to let you know, many, 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 many characters die in other shows, in other shows who have played in other this. games. So like, other I'm just, shows, other I'm just, shows. <laughs> all the other shows, all the other, other game shows. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, good luck. I mean, uh, be scared. Um, <laughs> see, see you tomorrow. Live in fear. <laughs> Love Troy. Yeah. Literally, that is the tone. It's like, be afraid. Ooh, like, I you want to keep our blood pressure yeah. up. Yeah. Does anybody actually legitimately have a backup character? No. 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 I, ha- I have. I have. I a do character. not. Well, I there's a- backup character. Like I've made the character sheet, and there's backup idea. I have nothing. I don't know. Because don't I intend to live forever in this campaign. Mm-hmm. I, I refuse to mechanically build the characters because you would tell me to do that in our first campaign. And if I did it, the character would die. Wow. But if I didn't. Superstition. If I, so if oh. I, but if I refused and bucked your directive, mm-hmm. the character would survive. <laughs> I don't yeah. have a backup Wait, because you... I plan to play Buggles like an abject coward oh. <laughs> all the way through the adventure. <laughs> As well you life should. at all costs. <laughs> yeah. You will fully disengage and flee a combat and start a new life. Absolutely. And, and we'll all be cool with it. Live on. And every once in a while, we'll yeah, just fun. flash in on Buggles' other life. Yeah, yeah. What, what's he up to? Just, just hiding under a, a pile of coats. Oh. I've thought about this. I mean, we've had several combats Piles of now. overshirts. <laughs> we've had several combats now, and there's been like two instances already where it was permadeath was on the line. And then as I look ahead and start preparing, I'm seeing stuff and I'm like, wow, this is, this is really tricky. Even with five players and I'm adjusting, but like not a ton. I'm just kind of feeling it out, especially at early, early Are you level. adjusting in every single encounter? No. Okay. No, I mean. There isn't like a blanket mechanical adjustment you're putting on everything? No, absolutely not. No, I'm adjusting on the fly. Um, and I'm not adjusting ACs at all. I'll tell you right now. I have not adjusted a single AC, all that. And I'm not adjusting to hits. If anything, I'm adjusting uh, hit points. Um, and I'm not adding any combatants or anything. I haven't yet. That's all I will say. I've already said too much. However, uh, there's tough shit. And then when you add the massive damage rule on top of it, I think there's a high possibility someone's going to die. And then I thought about that. I was like, well, maybe we should just not do massive damage rules. Because once you survive to second level, that becomes less of a threat yeah. when you get that hit point boost. But then, and I mentioned this right before we went live, I think about the Expanse as a great uh, you know, sort of uh, example of how, spoiler alert, like big main characters die repeatedly in like the first few episodes. And I'm like, and that show's great. That story is great. Uh, and it's also based, I think, on their RPG where it probably happened uh, as they Yeah, were there's a rumor about that. There was like, uh, they think it's a traveler campaign that they were doing. The books are based, yeah, the books are based on, uh, allegedly. And, allegedly. Uh, and gra- some, of the gra- some of the greatest stories of all time or TV shows, characters die. So I don't want to, I, I, nobody has plot armor. I think that's one of our hallmarks is like people could die. I don't want it to happen this early, but I think if it happens, it happens and we, we figure it out. I will say we were saying specifically for, for this type of fight with these druids that Shillelagh is brutal for massive damage. Yeah. Just because, I mean, Talitha went down, I think in one hit. Oh, uh, it was like four. What was it? No. Yeah, like forty I almost points died. of damage. On a, yeah, I forty points of damage. You well, no, I mean that would have been that would have killed you. But yeah. yeah, I don't know. It's it's a lot. Yeah, it's I came lot. close to getting massive damage. Death. I mean, last episode, one of them did twenty points in a single non-critical hit. Now yeah. that was mass. Uh, that was uh, max damage, but still twenty points. Yeah, half of it first is first level. Troy roll, which is Troy just rolls well no matter what, uh, and the other half is we all have what 15, 20 hit points. Yeah, well, I think it means that we need to be, well, we always have to try to be better, at, like, tactically. But yeah. in this case, we have to, like, be sneaky, yeah. not let them have time to prepare, and jump them before they can cast Shillelagh. <laughs> the next, uh, yeah. wait, what are these yeah. guys called? Are they Oak Stewards? They're Oak Stewards. Rebel. But they're, but they're, they're just a faction, dark, a rebel faction of off, Oak off. Stewards. They're people that have, have flocked to Bolan's banner. But they don't have, like, a name. Right? Like their faction doesn't have a name. No, no. They, as far as you know, they were Oak Stewards. Just I know like, they were oh. Oak Stewards, but they're not. But there are Oak Stewards that are not uh, 
rebelling back at Seven Arches, right? Right, right, right. Who were chill. Yeah, when Bol- basically what you've been told is like when Bolon came back, he was changed. And yeah. the people that were with him, none of them came back, only Bolon. And he was kind of coming back into town, infiltrating, finding people to convert. Because he was always a bit of a rabble rouser. He thinks that the Druids were being too right. soft. The Oak Druids were being too soft. He thinks it should be this way. Um, and so some people but the, like, he yeah, has, yeah, yeah, Bolon. But, but he has no branding. Like he has no they banner. Their, they, their, yeah. no specific... they call him Bolon's boys. <laughs> Bolon's boys. See, that That's what we were like asking. A, the Confederate yeah. kind of renegade squad. Yes. <laughs> like Quantrill's Raiders or something. But they have those masks, right? They have the yeah. different masks. Yeah, they do have the masks. So maybe they're working on a name. They just yeah. haven't come up with it. They're, 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 uh, These guys they're, suck. Bolon's men. They're no, testing. No. They're doing market testing. Bolon's, Bolon's, Bolon's brothers. brothers. What if we did Boys? Oak Stewards, but we spelled it O-K-E? <laughs> That's I, good. Let's put it on the board. I imagine them like holding no the mask. No bad up. ideas today. No, <laughs> no bad ideas today. Guys. Blue skying today, everybody. Blue skying. The bro stewards. The bro oh, stewards. And a few stewards. guys are like, yeah. And they're like, write it down. I like the idea of them holding the mask and they're like, better with or without. Scary? It's not <laughs> scary. Scary? Viper scary. mask. Are we married to oak? What rhymes with oak? What, can we do a pun? Oak. If we do these masks, couldn't then we be killed and other people put them on and then infiltrate our hideout? <laughs> <laughs> you sound like an idiot. <laughs> Cross it off the board. All right, we've decided. We're the pine stewards. <laughs> <laughs> Birch stewards. The mahogany stewards, because that's stronger. Uh, it doesn't really roll oak, off the right? top. Nothing strong. Well, I don't know. Get out of here! In Stardew <laughs> Valley, the mahogany is like <laughs> stronger, right? <laughs> what looks good on a marquee? I don't know. You're dying. Bleeding. I'm not dying yet. You I'm might bleeding. be. Um, and I believe we just start with you taking a point of damage and rolling your check. Yeah, I have one more action. Ah, that's and right. my flat check. Left. Okay, but you. Oh, you let Matthew uh, take an action. I remember when I had an action left over to a new session, wow. and I bringing up old shit. I oh. was told <laughs> no. <laughs> like I never somebody forget. Somebody needs a cider donut to come. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, this is interesting. The difference is you weren't bleeding to death. That's fair. I think Matthew should take his point of damage so he dies. And yeah, and this is what we're hoping here mm-hmm. is that you will just bleed to death. This is kind of a, a little bit crunchy here, I think. And we've we've t- dealt with this a little bit in the live show when it when it changed to two e. It's like you're out of combat, but you still have persistent damage. There's a part of me that wants to be like, there's four people around, you're going to be fine, but. That's really not how it works, because not only could you not be fine, in an attempt to help you, they could hurt you. Yeah. And the analogy I made is that if we were to all travel to Chicago together <laughs> and we were ready to get pizza outside of Pequod's and someone came up and shot you, you would die because none of us could help. He said this to me, Matthew, and I said, you wouldn't just want to put pressure on the wound. We know that. Specifically, though, you're shot in the neck. Oh, yeah. Then in this Joe's, scenario. Joe's oh, yeah. Then Matthew said, just apply a tourniquet. Take my belt off and, and wrap I said, around, and then a tourniquet on your neck. And Matthew said, "Why am I shot in the neck?" And both Troy and Joe said, "Obviously, you got shot in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, you were shot in the neck." But even if we were like, "Oh, just put pressure like this," like how I saw them do it on you Law and Order, you will die without medical attention by a trained expert. Everyone like knows that medical Ramey experts go to Pequods because it's healthy for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're not wrong. Yes. Uh, but yeah, this was. But here's the thing. Here's yeah. what I'll say about it. I think a lot of people think of bleed as bleeding, but that that's not it. Bleed means like a cut artery. It yeah, means yeah, like- I should call it, it spurts. It's something dead, <laughs> very, very, very deadly. It's like, and if it doesn't get stopped the proper way, um, non-magically, you will die. But does Brother yeah. Ramius have the capabilities he to does. treat- He does, he is a okay. trained uh, mediciner, and he's got his healer's tools. So, you Medicine. still have to do your turn. Yeah. Uh, um, you have you have your your remaining action, so let's talk through this. So this is going to be the whole session. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so first things first. No, I'm okay. I, I I don't have I don't I was I thought I had a potion on me. I do not. Just pour some cider on it. I'll pour some cider on it for my. That'll third clean action. the wound. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I clean. I spend my third action cleaning the wound with cider. It burns. Was that uh, s- s- mulled cider? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cider has fireball. Wait, 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 yeah. There's so much allspice <laughs> in this. <laughs> Stop. Did you use the one with fireball in it? Was that, the- <laughs> that was a backup. What'd you roll? Natural 20 See, on the black. So it's not, oh, it's not a big deal. deal. Oh, we got this. All right, so you take another point of bleed, yes. bringing you to three hit points. Three hit points. Oh my God. But you are no longer bleeding. Yay. Thanks to the mulled wine. Nice job. Talitha I, lives another episode. With the force of my own will. I stop the blood from spurting. I don't even touch it. I'm just like, I look at it and I'm like. 
and it shrivels in fear from you. <laughs> shrivels in fear. Sinks back into your body. Flex it closed. Uh, <laughs> so now, now we're out closed. of combat. Right. Turn. Do you guys want to just rush into the next room? No. Okay. <laughs> you tell me what you want to do. I'm wounded too. Uh, no. And um, I yeah. stand up. Oh, for my third action, I stand up. Okay. I think Lucky would like to rebar the door. Uh, okay. Close it. Okay. So I go over to cl- reclose the door, drag the body inside, Do- make sure that's secure. Okay, drag really the body inside. The door. Uh, I just wanted to do one thing with the door. I wanted one thing. No, I just, I think we should hole up in this room for a sec because I think we need to rest for a, a minute. What do you guys think? I think we need to rest for a night. We need to rest for a long time. Yeah. But right now, uh, we need to, to heal up as quickly as we can. Uh, just, you know, a basic heal, yeah. which is going to take probably at least 30 or 40 minutes or so. Uh, and that's just attending to each other's wounds with treating wounds. So, um, but it might not even be successful. So I'm going to start with uh, Brother Ramius is going to come to Talitha and treat wounds. I'm going to treat your wounds. Uh, Same time. Aww. Ooh, a like cute. a massage train. That's <laughs> cute. Here we go. Oh, fail. Fail. Oh. Ooh, wow. Brutal. Fail by one point. Me too. Okay. What do I roll a 14? Yeah, I rolled a 14. You guys should have not done it at the same time. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, what, that was the problem. Yeah, that was that definitely was, the problem. It's very distracting. There's no way that was going to succeed. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, so That's that means, yeah. So, 10 minutes. Yeah, so 10 minutes pass. Uh, anybody else doing anything like during I'm gonna that time? I'm going to keep watch over by the other exit to the room to the north where like there's stairs just to make sure. Nothing gets the jump on us while we're doing this. Yes, there is another door to the north, which you know just from when you were on that first platform leads to a uh, another uh, bridge that uh, goes to another hut to the north, and then there is a winding staircase leading to a second level. Right. Can anybody treat wounds on Lucky? Yes, uh, Brother Ramius will. Um, I'm sorry, Talitha, I, I don't know what's wrong. I'm. I'll come back later. And uh, he's going to try and attempt it on Lucky. I could use some. Uh, and there we go. So that is almost a crit. Whoa. Uh, but just a regular treat wounds. So you will lose the wounded condition. Yeah. So that's good. Uh, and you will get 10 hit points. Back. I am back to full. Thank you so awesome. much. Um, do, do the best I can. And he's just sweating and stressing and shaky oh. and moves to whoever's next. Who's next? Anybody else take damage? Uh, Buggles, you good? I'm, I, I'm fine. Yeah, Buggles oh, is spending All right, so this, isn't as bad this as I time yeah. refocusing. Ah. So he's going to, he's sort of meditating and sort of reestablishing the boundaries between his own mind and this other entity that resides in his skull. <laughs> Huh. I like that. So is this mechanically you're recovering your focus points? Yeah. 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 By the way, at some point, if there's a lull, I can discuss the issue that I have that I, I that they, there's a problem I have with mechanically with this class. Ah, yes. Ah. You're something you discovered one or two episodes ago, but yeah. it wasn't the right time to talk about right. it. Okay. Well, we, ha- we have to wait 60 minutes to treat me again, so... Uh, yeah, so during that time, I am going to refocus. I mean, I can treat myself. Let's see what happens. So, yeah. Treat I- yourself. Oh, I get it. Okay. So let's see how that does. So I, I will refocus and, um, yeah. Ziffa, Get that okay? focus point back. Yeah, I think I just also need a moment to refocus as well. Um, I'll, but leave, I'll, I'll, I'll leave I'll you keep, alone. I'll keep out a uh, watch out here. You guys do what you need to do. Talitha treats her, treats her own wounds, gets back to ten, gets back ten hit points, and removes the wounded condition. Nice. Excellent. Are you back okay. up to full? No. Oh. But if if we're gonna rest, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, are, is that the plan then? Like a rest, do rest. Th- do we need a do long? Do you think it's safe? Do you think? I'm they'll co- patrol. I'm okay. concerned about this staircase. We don't know what's upstairs. It I'm could gonna be lean out and just like open. look up these stairs not like actually go up but looking at where they ascend into and just everyone quiet quiet for a moment and let's try to I'm gonna do a perception just hearing see if I can hear anything upstairs okay uh 10 I will try to also because I was sitting there yeah natural 20 oh yeah Talitha investigator 19 total 
19. I got a 19 plus my perception. Wow. It's a 24. All right, so Brother Ramius is distracted. Distracted. Um, it's thinking, in his own uh, head. Yeah, in his own head, so you're not able to really uh, focus in. But the three of you uh, do listen and, and look, and you see that it's um, there's a platform that abo- above that's open to the air, um, so there's no uh, floor above that. Um, and you see lots of uh, branches and leaves that look like they've been shaped in a certain way to form like a, a light canopy, but it's still open to the sky oh, above. How lovely. Um, and yeah, you don't hear anything other than the rustling of uh, leaves in the wind. Is there a door we could bar on this on the north? In the north? There is. Yeah, there's a door um, direct north on this hut, in this Opposite workshop. The stairs. Yes. Oh, but but the stairs are open. So the I, stairs I, are open. Yeah. Yeah. And it but only goes up. Only goes up. Okay. I mean, it's it. it uh, Lucky says it seems like it's just a lookout. No. Do you want to go up and check? We are in the apparel of Oak Stewards. I don't see why that would be too strange. I think if we want to rest here, we should just make sure upstairs we know what's going on up there. Yes, it's very wise. I'd rather not get ambushed. Agreed. At this point, though, I don't think our enemies will be Oak Stewards. I think this part of the encampment has been taken by the the rogue fae they've aligned themselves with. There is something strange going on here. We haven't discovered it yet. But answers are coming. Go, Lucky. All right. Uh, I'll yell out the safe word. And, uh, which is, and we've agreed upon this before, uh, on the count of three. Zephyr, one, two, three. Yeah. Fire. 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 Perfect, I'll yell it out when I get up there and check it out. Screaming. It's a good screaming <laughs> improv bit. Fire. Go up the stairs. And I will follow. Is anybody You're else gonna going? Yeah. Okay. We'll yeah. Go. I think we should all yeah. go. I'll lead the way then. Uh, Buggles. I hate to interrupt you, but we are going upstairs. Okay. I'll come too. Uh, all right. Let's go to the map. Oh, baby. Okay. Um... I'm in the front, so I'm assuming I'm the first one to see this, but it looks like I, it looks like difficult terrain, if I'm correct, or is that the canopy I'm seeing? That's just the, the flavor of the, the beautiful map. Um, what you see is an open air platform with no proper walls. Uh, there's only this screen of leafy branches on all sides and this dense, uh, semi-dense roof of leaves. That's what you saw as you were peeking up. Like It looked like it was open air, but there were still some leaves creating some sort of canopy. But now that you're up there, you also see the floor is this like chaotic parquet of mismatched boards, carefully fitted to allow small living branches to fill the gaps between them. Um, and where it's all open, you see two rope bridges, one leading north to another hut that contains the windmill that you saw when uh, uh, Zephyr and when Lucky were, were scouting. scouting. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then another one uh, to the west. Holy shit. Uh, okay. so we're completely open to This is not a... Okay. Yeah. I mean, we could, but it's a small platform up here, which is what I was wondering, and there doesn't seem to be anyone up here right now. Yeah, but we're right. in the, like if someone were to come out of the windmill building, we're in direct line of sight. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, like we're not trying we to rest, rest up here. If we would like to rest, we can rest, and it can be interrupted, and then we'll have to fight. Yeah. It's no different than us just walking over there and fighting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So like, we're well, not in such bad shape that we can't risk resting yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? okay. And now that we know what we're looking at, like maybe we can be down there on guard listening for like the sounds of someone walking across a wooden bridge or anything like that, um, just to be more aware. Can the bridges be cut? That's what I was thinking. But then we have oh, to go wait, out into the open a little bit to do it. trapped also. Just asking in general, are they just attached by a rope? Is that the only thing holding they them up? Or are they, rope are they bridges, mounted yeah. into the, is there like wood posts mounted in? They're, they're wood posts, but it's tied to the post. Okay. Yeah. Let's untie one of them so the bridge is unusable, but we can reestablish it. I, I don't think we risk even showing ourselves just yet. Or sabotaging anything. Yeah, yeah just yet. We, I was just right, curious well, about... You know, if, if there was a fight up there, what would that look like and what are our options? And what are our dangers? You know? All right, then let's barricade the open the open area. We all the junk that was in the workshop. Yeah. We'll use the barricade to give us a little bit. Yeah. Talitha is also going to take some of that junk and um, arrange it on the stairs. Mm-hmm. So if someone were to come down, we'd, oh. they'd, would they, they'd either home alone it and trip and fall and uh, cause hopefully massive trauma to their internal organs and save us a battle. Or... 
they'll, we'll hear them coming. All right, so you're going back downstairs. You're going to take some of that debris that was all over the floor and just create a, some sort of trap so that uh, not only can someone not get down there with ease, but if someone were to come down, you'd hear them approach. Yeah. Uh, you're going to home alone. I think there is like a, we don't have any rogues in the party, but I, there are rogue abilities that like set traps. Set traps. Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. want and rangers too. I also love the idea of like a, a rubber ducky on the stairs, you know, and they step on it and we all wake up because it's like, <laughs> what's the movie? A paint can comes flying. Yeah. Is it Mission Impossible? What's the movie where he, grabs the light bulb like with like a jacket or Mission something impossible. on twist it crushes it and then shakes the oh, broken yeah. light bulb oh. outside the door they actually it's, did that in um that Mission impossible? last of us too they had glass where they were sleeping yeah. and then they stepped on it and it yeah, woke them like, up was that last of us too or last of us also last of us the uh show also because you said last of us too do you mean last of us too or last of us also <laughs> <laughs> i don't I, think i you followed you that. immediately <laughs> right? I don't, yeah you're I like, know. no, Last of Us, the Must show. you? Must you? <laughs> Must you? <laughs> they did that in Last of Us too. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I, I need more clarification. Is it so grammatically incorrect, Matthew? They did it in Mission Impossible, too. Stop <laughs> it. <laughs> you guys, I don't think I know English anymore. And, uh, <laughs> We're having a good time. It took me a while to understand what you were even saying. They also yeah. did that in Godfather 2. Stop it. <laughs> they did. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There is a light bulb. <laughs> well, he does. In Godfather uh, 2. It's to make Don Finucci. Yeah, they did it in Godfather 2. This is a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> all right, so you're going to go back downstairs. I'm just going to spread you out throughout the room awesome. here. Um, and as you're moving shit around, you do find some stuff yeah. in um, debris. Uh, obviously, the former inhabitants, uh, the Oak Stewards weren't even cool with. They set a trap that you set off right when you walked in. They destroyed destroyed the place, um, these strange fake creatures, but as you dig around to move stuff, you find a set of artisan's tools hmm. and a magnifying glass, which would be fun. Oh, that should be Ooh. for Talitha. Fun for you, Wow, huh? get, cool. some, get some art of that. Classic. Yeah, what does it, what does it do? Does it gives me a bonus to perception check? When you look at things, it <laughs> magnifies. Makes them appear bigger so than much. they are. So much, my hatred. Whoa. That was like my naked gun response. <laughs> the magnifying glass, what does it do? It makes things larger when you look at them. Does anyone want the artisan tools? Hospital, what is it? It's a big building with patients. That's not important. <laughs> not important right now. Uh, I don't need <laughs> artisan's tools. Maybe we could sell them or something? Artisan tools are fun, like if you want to do crafting yeah. um, in all the copious downtime that you're Does any, is anyone? A magnifying glass is a level three item worth 40 gold pieces. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, man. What does it do? It should, it's a magnifying glass. It makes things bigger. <laughs> it Why is it worth 40 dick? gold? It should you give you a plus to investigation. It gives you a, a plus one item bonus to perception checks to notice minute details of documents, fabrics, and the like. It's I great love, for you. I love you it's just great. like walking around with it up to your face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, it a strategy. Does anyone have crafting? Yeah. Well, this, w no, oh. I was agreeing. Like, yeah. Does Again. anyone? I think Kate. Oh, sorry. I, I don't know. I said, you too. I said yeah. I said yeah. Meaning. <laughs> I also want to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Doing my best. I have crafting too. You have crafting too. I have crafting too. The no. crafting. Uh, I have. <laughs> I'm all the same against English. What is going on? Uh, I don't have anything in crafting, and we should sell those tools. All right. Okay. Wait, uh, no one is trained in crafting in the. Party. I have like one point Did in it because that? of. I am trained in crafting. Things. Oh great. Oh. Well, well, then you should keep it. Artists. Oh, tools are important if you ever want everything. Yeah. You can have them if you want. No, I don't want them. I could teach you to, to craft things if you mm, want. Ma no, no. Lucky, it's it's no no trouble really. I would be honored. Maybe perhaps another time. We're we're very busy right now, and this is not the time to discuss that. I sense there's some unresolved something about crafting, but we'll unpack later. <laughs> Damn, she's good. Crafting trauma? <laughs> My investigatory prowess allows me oh, to see through she's your... She's got her magnifying glass, and she's just like, I got just you. Just looking at your face. <laughs> just Lucky's like, like, killed by a crafter? Like he's like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go over there and lay down. So is that the plan? Well, yeah, we're going to hold up and... Full on rest. Full on rest, yeah. I can keep watch. I don't, yeah. I'm back up to full, and if you need to yeah. recharge spells and stuff, I don't yeah. really need to rest. Cats don't sleep. You don't so mind, I'd like to. Sleep. They just nap. It's just sleep. Google it. Only 18 yeah. hours a day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, so full. By the way, Pat McGrath, uh, our artist friend, who used to be at Marvel, did our original logo, and our new logo mm -hmm. uh, reminded me that I'm ashamed that I didn't know this, remember this myself. Lucky was the name of the family cat in the show Alf. Oh. 
I'm ashamed you didn't know that either. Yeah. yeah. And Alf... Uh, tried to eat it, right? He tried. He always tried All to the time. eat it. Yeah. There was actually a running sort of gag where he tried to microwave the cat, try to trap the cat in the microwave and cook it. And they stopped doing it because a lot of kids were oh <laughs> replicating that behavior. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my wow, God. Jeez. That was, that was Alf's one, one, one bugaboo. <laughs> He really a little hitch there. Always wanted to. Eat. He was a nice guy. Otherwise, violence. But he always tried to eat the family wanted, cat. Wanted to cats. Um, all right. So full rest. This is our first. This is our first legit rest. I don't. Oh well, no. Right. Can't be. It's been multiple days. First yeah. noted had rest. Horrible combat. Okay. All right. We get. Campaign. I think this is our first like in dungeon crawl. Rest. Right. Okay. So you're it's gonna rest post. Well. Yeah. Our first, like, we need to set a watch, and yeah. it's dangerous, and we're in enemy territory. Yeah. Let's let's talk about rest. You get all your spells and, and focus points back. You, any powers that are uh, X amount of day uh, powers come back. But let's talk, how does hit point recovery work uh, in a normal rest? I don't know. But I, I believe it's uh, you get half your level plus your con modifier, I believe, in HP back, something like that. Half your level. Or maybe your level plus your con modifier. I don't remember. Half your level rounded down, probably. Uh, plus your con. Rest and daily preparations. Hit points equal to your constitution modifier, minimum one multiplied by your level. Multiplied, multiplied. by your level. Ooh, nice. So we'll get one hit point back. Yep. One there we go. Back. It's really not a lot. Thank yeah. you, Demiplane. <laughs> I might need to do, I might need to run another medicine check on myself before we go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you might want to burn, that's a, that's why I asked, you might want to burn some more checks if uh, you're only going to get one. Oh, actually, and I get it. Sleeping in armor results in poor rest that leaves you fatigued. Shut up, Jim. <laughs> Is everyone taking off their armor? Shut your mouth, Joe. I'm keeping watch. And then if you get I'm attacked good. at night, you have to hastily don it. That's the whole thing. Yes. Not the hastily If you do not rest, <laughs> you can only go... <laughs> if you do 16 uh, consecutive hours without rest, you become fatigued, and you cannot recover it until you rest. Well, I will rest at one point. Like, we're going to keep, you like, do a watch. watch. Yeah. Yeah, okay. we're switching. Yeah. We're doing I think a there's a table for, like... There, uh, there is. The watch is... Number of pl people versus number of hours. Yeah. How so, for five... How you do the watch. We don't have to figure it out here. No, for five people... I mean, it says it. There is a table. You have it. Yeah. You yeah. have the table up? Yeah. Oh, great. There's a table for that. Five people, the total time is ten hours, and the duration of each watch is two hours. They just divide it by the person, so... So, great. ten hours we're going to hole up in this it. place. Either oh. before we go to bed or on a watch, Talitha uh, wants to uh, talk to Buggles real quick, privately. Maybe we pair up for the, so like, yeah. we switch off, you guys switch off. Alright, so maybe it's after uh, Buggles is finishing his watch, you're relieving Buggles, and before he goes to rest, what do you say? I come over and just shake you awake. <laughs> Wait, sorry. Wake up. Uh, uh, thank you, Buggles. It's time for your watch. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Buggles, oh, oh, um, you saved my life that fight. I, I felt you in my, my head as I, when I was unconscious. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. No, don't be sorry. You it saved was, my life. Well, it was unintended. Well, I just, I felt you were hurt and I just sort of reached out. It's something that's been happening. And it, you, it, I'm very grateful. I was very hurt. Um, it, it worked. It made you feel better. Made me feel much better, Buggles. Oh, Thank that's you. That's good. Um, when you were in there, in my head, did you know what I was thinking? Did you know my thoughts? Did you see it? Oh, no, no, no. I wouldn't dream. I don't. That's not something that... No. I wouldn't even if I could, and I can't. Well, if, if, you, if you do ever, if it does happen that you do hear what, um, what I might be thinking or not thinking about, um, I hope you would come to me first before saying anything. You were thinking about my ears, weren't you? What? No. They look like a freak. You, you Buggles, you do not look like a freak. That's why you didn't want me to go in there. No, Buggles, I told you, I'm extremely grateful for what you did. I promise you, I n never would I ever try to say anything other than that. Oh. In oh. fact, I think your ears are beautiful. Well, wherever they are, I'm sure they are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good rest, Buggles. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Wait, does Buggles have no ears? They, they got like chopped they were, off. I thought he had little. Fully, I thought I th he had like little. Yeah, subs. I thought he. They like cut them. They cut, cut them off. They're, they're off. They're not clipped. They're all the way. Ah, yeah. I see. This yeah. changes my idea of what Buggles looks like. Yeah, that's why he's got the hood. I see. I see. Like, okay. Yeah, oh. it's horrifying. 
Yeah, yeah he's not as cute. No, he's a, it's he's adorable. He's, adorable. he's adorable. a monster, and we I'm, need to kill I'm him. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I need to kill him. I'm a freak. <laughs> you're not a freak, but you're, you're, you're our most valued party member. Well, I'm glad you feel better. I don't know how it works, but I'm glad it did. It worked very well. Anyway, anyway I'll, I'll, I'll take my watch. Thank right. you. Have a good watch. So you. Why? I just did your voice to you. Bye. <laughs> That's Bye. rude. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. Are there any uh, other fun conversations that happen, or do you guys just wake up? Maybe me and Zephyr do like a cool high five when we switch off because we like have a uh, handshake. How does that? Give me a. You guys have like a. Do you have yeah. a secret handshake, handshake already? So it's Looks like a, we I'm walk really by. It's when we're walking by each other. Yeah. Okay. And we're doing like a bump and then back down. Classic. And then yeah. like a. Oh, there's more. <laughs> 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 You got all that, right? Yeah. It's like a bounce back down. For the listeners, it's a bounce, bounce back down. down. Around. One more. Back, back and then snap. 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 snap point. Pointer. Finger gun. Finger gun. Shoot, shoot you in the face. In the yeah. Face. <laughs> and then we're just going to add on to it as we yeah, go. Yeah, eventually it's like, you pretend to shoot me, and I'm like, oh. It's already pretty complex. It's going to become a long thing. It's going to eat up time of rest. By the way, along these point. lines, I have, I have fun new drops for your guys' characters, if you... Do something cool. Oh, was the handshake like, not? That, what, that was cool. No. <laughs> uh, not quite. I have, but I have drops for for you two and for me, Ooh. and then I I still have to think of something for the for you two. Are got, they like? You've got some time with Matthew yeah. and Joe. They're like sounds that remind you of our characters, or are they like made for our? They're characters? they're very specific to both of your characters. Okay. Either way, say that. I think what he's getting at is everything you just did was not cool. Yeah, no, sliders. because they did it. It was you know. cool, but if they you did ever it, do anything cool, he has something. They did it simultaneously. Right. I can't play both, both drops at once. It'll be chaos. That no, makes sense. I, if, you each, if you individually do something cool, you'll hear it. Got it. After over a decade of knowing Skid, I think I know what the drops are, and I'm not going to say them. Wait, I think, write it down on a piece of paper. I think you do know what one of them <laughs> Wait, is. Wait, but is yep. it for the character or is it for us? For the character. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, I, I, I think know, I know what one of them is. I know exactly what they are, and I'm very excited <laughs> that they're entering the show. It's sex and candy, right? <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> I do have that, too. There's a high five. I smell sex and candy. Yeah. Eh. And then you wake up. What is the plan? <laughs> I had the weirdest what is the plan? Plan. Awoken the we- by the odor of sex oh, and God. candy. I had the weirdest <laughs> dream. Candy. Did anyone dream sex about and sex and candy? Buckles ears. Wait, what? 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 Who? What? what? Have you seen them? What? Where are they? <laughs> uh, so nothing happened. Nothing happened. We didn't hear anything. Any of the watches. Nobody heard people moving. Voices in the distance. Nothing on the stairs. No lights. Across, no, no creaks of bridges being walked across or anything. No. Sirens. Those, those of you on watch. Screams. <laughs> ambulance. Yeah. Ambulance coming. To people just Unicorns kill. screaming. Helicopter. At one point, there was like a recycling truck downstairs <laughs> for like forty minutes. It's <laughs> street sweeper. <laughs> <laughs> those of you who are on watch, like you would hear sounds throughout the night. Um, you would hear animal sounds. You'd hear the wind from time to time, maybe sounds of walking above you, but none of you would have dared to venture to take a look by yourself. So we did hear footsteps. Yeah, maybe, but it was it's unclear. Certainly not like, that was definitely a footstep, like creaking of boards. Is it just the, the hot settling? Or is it yeah. people? Death. Or is it certain death? This would not be a restful time. This would not be the most particularly serene environment to rest in. Yeah. No, I'm. I sometimes I try to think about what it would be like. Surely I would be exhausted from the battle, and that would help. But if yeah. I wasn't, if I was do, feeling pretty good, how would I sleep? This it's room is well, a mess. You'd have to trust the others. Yeah. You'd have to trust whoever it was that was on watch. Well, everyone. You'd have to trust everyone else to like maintain their watch and do their job. Yeah. yeah. And which I think uh, we do. We've I do. Working yeah. with mm-hmm. each other. I also think it's a matter of experience and repetition. So if you, I could see why you'd struggle now. But an adventurer that is, uh, you know, level three, level four, that's been doing this for a while, like, your body would train to, you could sleep with, like, people dying near you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, just like in, you know, the, a war or something, a soldier in war. I was at, right, exactly. a professor in college who was a former Royal Marine. He had fought in the, in the, in the Falklands, Falklands. But he, he was talking about the Odyssey, and he was like, it, see, it always seems weird, doesn't it, how whenever you read this, like, something, when, in these moments of, like, great risk, somebody will just fall asleep and bad things will happen. And he was like, but my experience of being a soldier was that like, you just 
if there is sleep available, yeah. you get it. You take it. Mm-hmm. I'm just yeah. like, I'm just like, but like, think about it. Like, we're like in an actively dangerous situation in this like torn apart workshop, trying to get eight hours of rest. Yeah. <laughs> also, I like to imagine now playing this cat folk that maybe Lucky has an easier time sleeping. Like she just curls up in like the smallest spot available on like a bunch of shoes, oh, you know? Yeah. It doesn't bother her at all. <laughs> a yeah. pile of shoes. <laughs> a six foot cat curled up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> Let's talk about your options right now because you do have uh, three uh, from what I see. You've got the stairs leading up. You've taken, you've done a little recon on the upstairs situation. It's very open up there, um, pros and cons to that. You've got this door to the north that leads to a bridge uh, leading to another hut. Uh, and then back at the guard station, there was a rope bridge leading west to a single door. Um, I don't remember if you've uh, explored that area no. or not. They specifically wanted us not to. Yeah, they, they said, said it was locked don't off, go locked that off, way. or whatever. Yeah. Um, so those those are your three options as far as you can see. Door to the north. Door to the north. Door to the north. Door to the north. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, I feel, I feel like yes. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go head that way. All right, All right, we'll unbar the door, and I'll listen at the door. Sure. And I, 14. There's a wind machine behind the There's door. A wind machine behind the door. Or All just right. a guy doing that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just standing like... <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> now do ocean waves. <laughs> she like grabs a sheet of paper and just crinkles it up. <laughs> it's got a whole Foley box. Sheet of metal. He's making thunder. Let's open the door and open. kill him. Open the guy. Open the door. Let's open the door. Be prepared Whoa. to kill the man. Slowly. Box. Lucky slowly. Sneakily. Sneakily opens the door. Safely. And she says... It's the bridge, <laughs> like we knew, because we saw it from above. Uh, I'm going to slowly walk on the bridge. Does it seem to be holding my weight well? Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it creaks. <laughs> slowly, sneakily, stealthily. Slowly, slow. I'm looking around outside on the bridge to make sure nothing's looking back at us if I can see. Yeah, what see. do you see? Yeah, do we see anything? I mean, it's just out in the open air and you can see this. You're in the trees, so you see branches with leaves like that you could reach out and touch. Um, not thick enough to like walk on, maybe in the distance thicker ones that you could like crouching tiger, hidden dragon on, um, but you are in the trees. We're like kind of covered. Oh yeah. It. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you don't have to worry so much of uh, from death from above, yeah. but. Uh, um, all right, so there's another door. Uh, Lucky's going to listen at this next door. Perception. A nat 20 for a 25. Nice. Nat 20 for a 25. Daniel 20. I don't know how we haven't arrived at that much, much earlier. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell? Nat 20. That's, a, that's my fault. <laughs> I blame myself. I blame myself. You hear a um, sound, sound like broken glass. Someone's stepping on the... Light, the broken light bulb. Oh, the bro- like a broken light bulb. But that's from, from the wrong, too. <laughs> in the wrong way. They also set up a broken light bulb. Uh, yeah, no, it sounds like glass just fell and shattered on the ground. Okay, I, I make the motion to everybody behind me. There's something in there. I'm going to open the door. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. I ready my bow pointing at the door. Okay. Ready. Lucky is going to open the door. Open the door. Okay. You open the door. And you see a room and a couple creatures. Uh, the first thing you notice when you open the door is you are hit by like a wave of heat. Like the room beyond this bridge is hot and that heat comes out at you. It looks like a kitchen, like a large kitchen, uh, but it's swelteringly hot in there. And you can see to the north a roaring iron stove that's like uh, giving off all of this heat, you would think. There are burst open bags, shattered jars, copious amounts of crumbs and food scraps all over the floor and tables. Uh, There's a door leading further west, so you can tell this hut is split in at least two, if not more. And there are these two fairy looking creatures with like bumblebee heads 
uh, and they're just like grabbing food stuff and they're vomiting on the food to turn it into mush and then they have these long little proboscises that are then sucking up the food. Um, one of them pulls out what looks like a piece of chocolate cake and just like <laughs> turns it into mush. Oh, and, the cake. And uh, uh, David Cronenberg was directing. The <laughs> yes. Oh my God. They're tiny look here. I'll show you what they look like. Um, so you get a good, good view. Oh. oh, that's not oh, as hideous as yeah, I thought it would be. They're kind of fun. They're Huge. quite pretty. Yeah, they're holding one, cupcakes. That one has a couple cupcakes. This one looks sad. Like he's upset about doing oh. this horrible, horrible stuff to these beautiful, delicious treats. You open the you open the door and they're, they're eating this cake and the other one says, You're not supposed to be here. <laughs> <laughs> roll finish. Oh. <laughs> roll, 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 all right, we are in it, but are we in it to win it? What did you get? Lucky. Uh, 28. 28. Damn. Lucky. Damn. Ooh, what's that, not 20? No, because we use our perception, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 13. All right, 13, yeah. Oh, wait, now, oh my God, I did the math wrong. Yeah. I was going to say. That's a, that's a 16. <laughs> 28. <laughs> I, like, tried to find the non-rude way to ask you. It's like, no, no, no. Cool. Was that a natural? I, I was dying. <laughs> that's an I was getting confused <laughs> with our other game. I don't know what my, I just had a major brain fart. I think I was reading my other stuff on my sheet, and my brain just went 28. 28. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Sorry. I have no faith oh. in any number you no, no, ever no. gave me. No, no, no. That one was weird. I was looking ahead for my attacks and stuff, and I just totally said 28. 28? Sorry. <laughs> it wasn't even like... Next this is a completely different other number. You roll a natural 20? Just go, nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> then we should talk. We should talk. As soon as, I, as soon as I was like, no, I was like, that's not, that's impossible. That, I can't possibly have rolled that. <laughs> Talitha, what did 16. you get? 18. Ah, not a 28. Not a 28. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a capita casa 28. Because uh, you use real math. I think Buggles. we should all get 28. <laughs> uh, four. Four. <laughs> Brother Ramius. Uh, 25. 20 28. Five. Oh, 28. 28. <laughs> Might as well be. <laughs> Zephyr. A nine, a nine, even though I readied my bow. So oh. do I get anything special for that? Your bow is out. Yep. And I had it train on the door as she was opening it. Yep. So you don't have to use an action to pull that bow out. That's, that's what you get in 2E. We, you save that action, which is huge. The more we play 2E, every single action is huge. So that's what you it get. It doesn't feel huge. I would huge, say we all had our weapons you. out. Those who said they did, do. Yeah, I'm sure you did. You you don't know. You're expecting danger. Yes, I'm not going to. You have you wield two weapons. Yeah. There's no feasible way to hold two weapons and open a door. You can't start. Sadly, that. you if cannot you like, do that. Don't. If you're dexterous and you can maybe just hold it between you your two your fingers and then you open <laughs> with your other fingers. Joe, with your Joe is holding two glasses of beer and approaches a door and he's like, fuck, well. <laughs> As someone who does that a lot. There's uh, no possible. It is tough to open yeah, a door. You get there and you're like, elbow. What have I done? Elbow. Elbow. When I'm heading down into my office at home, there's also like a child lock on that oh. door when I have multiple oh. beers. It's, it's nearly impossible. You just simply have to chug a beer then you open the door. It's like, well, guess I'm not working today. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so it's round one, and it's Brother Ramius's turn. Uh, man, these things, I have <laughs> no idea what to do. Um, and you're far away. Yeah, I'm far away. I'm going to delay. I'm going to delay. I want to see what these things are all about. Okay, well, it is. The rolls you do ro roll well are wasted on you. Dude, I'm I'm a cleric, like, I, and I'm not gonna just start blasting these sweet little animals out of the air. Did you see the art? You could talk to them. I'm just a simple cleric, I'm, but I'm so far back. Like she's up in the front. I'm I'm gonna see what what uh, I'm gonna follow uh, Lucky's lead. All right, so uh, it is one of the bee creatures' turn. For his first action, it just like takes that chocolate cake that it has in its hand. It's like, <laughs> and it uh, <laughs> just goes crazy. <laughs> Uh, and it activates uh, an ability known as <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually do. sugar rush. Um, oh, sugar rush. that's amazing! Wow. Yes, so uh, it will. I smell sex and <laughs> there it is. There it is. I knew yeah. it would come back. <laughs> um, so that will make it quickened uh, for a certain amount of time, uh, oh. giving it uh, oh an additional use of the oh. stride Billy. or fly uh, action. And so now this little thing is going to. 
fly towards Lucky. Hmm. That's cool. Hmm. That's cool. It flies about, I don't know, 20, 25 feet or so up, and then it is going to, like, raise its abdomen up at you and just, like, fire off a stinger. What? Ugh. And that is going to be a 16 to hit. Miss. Misses with the stinger. Huge. Tries to do it again. Ah! And misses again, and then uh, it actually has one more action. Oh, no, because it used Sugar Rush. All right, so that's what that one does. And then, uh, as luck would have what, it... Isn't it quickened? Uh, it is quickened, but I used the Sugar Rush ability. Oh, uh, yeah. Used my free fly. Attack, attack. That's four. Uh, the other one, it's its turn. Um, um, I'm going to go. You're going to go. Yeah, so as soon as that thing flies up and attacks with a stinger, Brother Ramius is just angrily, he's just so mad that these... Uh, Creatures are attacking us without even so much as a conversation. He steps out from behind Zephyr, and he's going to cast this spell. His hands begin glowing white as he shoots a divine lance Ooh. across at this thing. You stay back from her! And he fires off a lance. 18 to hit. 18 to hit this poor little creature is a hit. Okay, so this is holy damage. Do what you will with it. Holy damage! Holy five damage. Damage. five points of holy damage. Five points of holy damage. Does okay. it seem to affect the creature? Uh, it does. Okay. All right. Well, that yeah, that makes him feel. That makes us all feel better about this fight. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so that that's it. That's his turn. He moved. He had to it move. It says, "I'll glaze your scones." <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say? Uh, he moved up and 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 cast that spell. That's his round. Okay. Did you mean to move on to Talitha Square? Uh, I did not see your your pun there at all. It, you know, it was, wasn't there when I moved. I it was. Um, uh, you want to okay, move up ahead of Zephyr then? So you're... In that case, uh, you, make sure that you gave it cover. Make sure that you... Did you give it a plus one to AC? Didn't the 18 still hit? Uh, an 18 would still hit. Okay. Then uh, having an extra action, he will cast Guidance on Lucky uh, to so you can get a plus one. Oh, okay. All right, awesome. So you've got eyes on it from there where you're standing? Yeah. I mean, I can't see the creature, but... I, Oh, it it, it did not. Moved. Oh, yes, I can. I'm sorry. I thought it melee attacked her. I didn't realize that it was ranged. Right. But I do see the creature. If you can see the creature, yeah. um, then I yeah, Foundry keeps us honest. Okay. It is the other one's turn now. Um, and it is going to go. It says, I'll butter your muffin. <laughs> and it... Uh, <laughs> What strange creatures. These creatures are so weird. It's also going to use that uh, sugar rush on a uh, <laughs> fucking cupcake. And then it uh, will fly up and uh, send a stinger at Lucky again. Same thing. Uh, and that's going to be a 27 to hit. Well, oh. well yes. All right, Lucky, you were up front there. Uh, so this is going to be uh, very interesting. It's going to hurt going to hit you for one point of poison damage. Oh, boy. Okay. And then uh, it's going to try it again. Uh, 17 to hit. Miss. Miss. And then I'm just going to try one more time. Oh, no, because I usually can't. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> All right. Now it is Talitha's turn. Uh, okay. Talitha is going to devise a stratagem against the bee dude in the lead. It's a bee lady. Bee lady. I'll ice your donuts. <laughs> it says to you. Uh, okay. And Talitha will not attack. <laughs> ah. So what made you, you were looking at it and you thought better. What, what do you think you saw? Maybe it was the, maybe it was the way they motorboated that chocolate cake. She's going to be saying, not today. Not today. <laughs> Very disturbing. Yeah, it really made you think twice. Not today, Satan. So instead I will do, uh, <laughs> not today, Satan. I will instead try to, uh, I'll, I'll try to recall knowledge to identify the creature. Ah, okay. Uh, that's going to be uh, nature, most likely. Um, Natural 20. Oh, Natural how about there you that? go. 20. There we 24. Go. These are creatures known as Malixies. Malixies. Sure, it's a fun little play on the word pixie. Um, and. Oh, I think. And I think Melissa. I know Melissa is like Greek for honeybee. Oh, okay. So I'm sure so, it's Melissa and pixie in there. A the, honey pixie. Yeah, a honey yeah. pixie. Honey pixie. Um, all right, so uh, you know about their Sugar Rush ability. Um, here's one thing I'll give you about that. When that ability ends, they're going to be fatigued for a minute. 
uh, and it lasts only a number of rounds. Oh, so there's okay. a chance that they, they could, after doing that, start to feel like we all feel, a bit of a sugar crash mm-hmm. uh, after housing a cake and a cupcake. Uh, so maybe, you know, just wait for them to die of diabetes. Like, we could just back off. <laughs> we could. I mean, I'm not. I'm only like 10 percent joking. We could close the door. Yeah, and then wait <laughs> and see if we can delay their delay and let their sugar rush ability. Yeah. I'm just looking at Lucky. <laughs> Lucky makes that call. Yeah. So, I Lucky mean, loves a good door close. Talitha could call out as a strategy. I mean, you're kind yeah. of our. You could say close the door, and Lucky would listen. Their their ability to move faster and quicker will end after a few seconds. Close the door. It might delay them. I do love closing doors. <laughs> I know you do. <laughs> all right. Maybe I will. Uh, all right. So that's, yeah, that's, I'll, I'll give you one more bit of information. They, uh, they are spellcasters. They are primal spellcasters, but you don't think that they use those spells uh, offensively. Ah, okay. Interesting. Okay. Uh, and then with my third action, I will, I'll move up, I'll, I'll move up onto the bridge just it- to, Behind Lucky, just to kind of give us a little am I, cover. I'll, 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 is that going to get in the way of anybody's action? Should I stay back? Zephyr. If she shuts the door, then I don't care that y'all are in front of me. Yeah, if that's um, our real plan, I will shut yeah. the door. And they'll otherwise, lose. I can't shoot through you guys. Yeah, but think. Zephyr could also get a shot. You or get a shot. All right, I'll I'm right. already going to be at a yeah. penalty for being so close to the. You're beat. right. I would, I would, I would take so. Zephyr's bow into account. So I'll, I will say where I am. Okay. Uh, then it goes to Lucky's turn. So Lucky, you uh, decide what you want to do here. Yeah, I can delay so you can get a pop off, and then I'll jump back in to shut the door. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Great. You could get multiple pops off. Yeah. Pop. Pop. Pop, pop. All right, so <laughs> Lucky's going to delay. Think, yeah, was Lucky, that cool? Was that that cool? was very cool. You know, mo- crouches and just goes, take your shot, Ziva. So you're using the crouch action? Whoa, that's so cool. All right. So I'm not da- taking the Down one so action. Lucky takes the crouch action. And no, then I'm delayed. Then there's the pop-up action. Right? I'm delayed. Actions. So that's your turn. I'm delayed. So you can't double strike, but um, you can My, my pop, pop is the blurry of... Fr- the blurry <laughs> of flows. Listen. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. The blurry of flows. Blurry of flows. Oh, Oh, man. Uh, That's my cool. sweater so cool. is very bad today. <laughs> Blurry of flows. Um, okay. All right, so then you're delaying my right after? Uh, you sure are, so it is Zephyr's Sick. turn. Sick. All right. Um, Sick. Light it up. I'm going to do... They're going to get a little bonus for uh, the cover that Lucky Lucky's in the way. So yeah, you and then I'm also Lucky. within my volley range, which puts me at a negative two also. Okay. So I was thinking of using my key strike so I get a plus one, but with all the negatives, I don't think it's worth it. I'm just going to go for... Yeah, I think yeah. do it, and then we'll delay, and we get some time. And Flurry of blows. I get a negative two. Just from the volley, what negative do I get from... Uh, they get a, a plus one to their AC. All right, so negative three altogether. It sounds like you're playing World of Warcraft. It's like a uh, plus two <laughs> with my key strike, and uh, minus All right. one with my... If only Lucky were like four feet tall. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know, then it really wouldn't have been a problem. So, first, uh, that's going to be a miss. It's going to be an eight to hit. Yeah, that's a miss. Boom, flies to the back wall. Um, Ow! Ooh, natural 20 on the oh! second one. Yes. Now you can start thinking about what Sydney's. Oh my God. That was right. the one I guess. I have no idea. I have a guess for Sydney. <laughs> yeah, I All right, so yeah. one D8. Ah, fat job brownies! <laughs> Ooh, that's seven points of damage. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Didn't you crit? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. What on earth? Hold on to that seven. Oh, we'll shit. use that as your as your roll, assuming that it I'm keeping crit the seven. provides damage. We're <laughs> <laughs> assuming the critical uh, hit okay. provides damage. <laughs> Uh, this one from James in Boise, Idaho. Hello, James. James, James. Uh, James. Jimmy. Oh, James. Can I call you Jimmy? My, uh, this one is my jar or my tube. Oh, ah, wow. That's from Mork Borg. Yeah, that's from Mork Borg. Oh, is it? Oh, oh, that's right. And the tube. Yeah. Uh, which and was like all of us except Matthew. My yeah. jar or my, tube. or my tube. Thanks. That's right. I had all these cool books you got for free that I would have loved <laughs> to have read or played. Beautiful books. Well, I Beautiful books. I threw Love out it. at least four copies. I could have given them. <laughs> 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 I didn't know you wanted one. All right. My jar or my tube. Double damage. The target must then make a reflex save. If they fail, you're able to shoot with such precision that the target drops their weapon. If they aren't holding a weapon, my cake. you deal triple damage. Oh! If they fail the reflex save. You kill it in one shot. Yeah! Oh, that's so good! 
cool. So she misses the first one, but that Holy second one, right in that little butthole thing that it shot the. Oh my that god! Shot the, you get it right in the butthole. <laughs> right in the butthole. <laughs> yeah. You shot, shot its stinger. Right in the stinger hole. Right through its butthole. Right oh, through. Wait, the butthole. Are you in the is that what it's called? No, no, no the stinger. The stinger, stinger hole. Stinger hole. Uh, right sort of presumes it. that there's a butthole at the end of the stinger, <laughs> and she pierced it perfectly. Yep. A head is way too protectable. Yeah. Like Be- a headshot. These have a cloaca type situation where they sting and poop and piss off of the same hole. It's canon. <laughs> As it goes down, the other view today. As are, it goes are you down, okay? I'm crying. You're in a strange mood today. <laughs> today, uh, as it falls with an arrow directly in its stinger hole, uh, the other one says, "Cinnamon." Oh, cinnamon. Uh, <laughs> well, I feel bad again. Um, cinnamon, ah, the finger your blueberry pie. They're getting weirder. <laughs> They're getting worse. Are you like okay? Little Jack Horner <laughs> does or something. His thumb. His thumb. I'll thumb your blueberry pie. Mm, it just, it doesn't work. Are you going to shut the door? Yeah, or is it, is it like standing a bunch down of now? Things. I'm is just it taking my, some creative liberties. Is it my turn now? All it had was glazier scones. Uh, now, wait, no, are you done with actions? That was just one action, yeah, so, so keep I can't see the other one from where I am. But you could stride up and jaw him. Um, <laughs> up to you, up to you. I feel like I don't want to take too many liberties here, even though I did just crit, you know? or. What? No, you guys are looking at me like I should stride up and be like. Do what do you something. think you do in this moment? What does I Zephyr mean, do? After she takes out the first one, can't see the next one, what does she if do? If I know there's only two in there, maybe we can just be like, stand down, sugar, cinnamon and sugar. Well, that'd be fun if that's what their names were. Cinnamon and. Stand whatever. down, sugar. Stand down, sugar. <laughs> stand down, spice. It's over got spice. Cinnamon and spice. It's over spice. Stand down, pumpkin spice. <laughs> what did you call me? <laughs> pumpkin spice. Um. You want a free action? Yell out. I mean, whatever you want to do. I'm delaying until you tell me you're done. Yeah, I'll yell was out. my son who died in Vietnam. <laughs> I'll yell How out. Dare you say Ow. his name? You seem like, to have angered the bee fairy. <laughs> We're not here to fight you. You can stand down. <laughs> you just shot and into then a let you, the bee hole. The I'll bee let. <laughs> Where they poop and pee. <laughs> I'll stuff your muffins. <laughs> if it keeps talking shit, but and then I'll let Lucky, if you can see both of them, decide what to do. Shut the door or not. All right, so you're done. With the I'll delay the rest of my actions. That, I can't do that. That's not how that works. Yes, it's fine. All right, I'm done. You're All done. Right. All right. All right. So is the other one seem like it's still very angry? Yes. It's mad. You just killed Cinnamon. Uh, All right. Lucky says, see you, sucker. And then she just closes the door. You let us know when you're calmed down. Shadunk. <laughs> you let us know when you're over your tantrum. <laughs> and I close the when door. When you're wow. ready to talk like an adult. Yeah. When you're ready to discuss you can like come an out. adult, you can yeah. come out. All right. Uh, any other actions you want to take? Because that's only one action. Uh, no. Okay. I'm just having my weapon. Just like hold you the door. Ready. You could ready an action. Yeah, I guess, you know what? I'll then use my extra two to ready. Uh, Should the door open up, you'll attack. I will immediately attack. Okay. Uh, Buggles. Uh, Buggles is going to, I guess, you know, I'm going to say like under any n- normal circumstance from here on forward if when we're waking up like at the beginning of the day I'm going to cast mage armor I didn't say it this time I'm going to cast mage armor okay now what's the burning wheel what do they call it I always ask instincts yeah, instincts. instincts like things you always do how does mage armor work is it like a set time or is it uh, for all day all day until yeah. I do until you do your next preparation that's great yeah yeah playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 3 and like I have to like after every rest make sure that I cast mage armor on all my spellcasters otherwise they're squishy yeah vulnerable um all right so you're gonna cast mage armor cast mage armor and then I'm gonna move into position to hopefully see anyone that comes out that door okay yes and that is the end of round one will there be a round two find out after this quick word from our sponsor St. Michael brings out his holy sword, places his heel upon the neck of the serpent. For now, the hour is struck, the trumpet has been sounded, the dead shall walk again. The serpent comes, but upon all of them he shall place the mark of the beast.
spoiler alert, there is. Round two, it would be the bee creature's turn. Perhaps their name is Sugar Senior. Uh, Cause we now know that Sugar Junior died in Vietnam. But the <laughs> bee, you don't know what it's doing back there. You can't see, right? Uh, no, door's door is closed. Door's closed. You can't see anything. Isn't that great, though? You get to still see. Uh, you can remember foundry. what the room vaguely like, looks like. I think like. I know what yeah. it looks like. And I never saw it, so I can't see you it. Still can't. I do. Oh, really? Even though it's like more limiting as a player, I love the immersion of this. Of like, it's like I don't know. I can't. I never saw it. Yeah. Like, you could describe it to me, but yeah. I don't know. You would on your turn have to be like, Lucky, how far is it to the? the, the, the? Yeah. yeah, I love last it. Last episode, so I had to use like an extra move action just to see someone. That like I didn't think I'd have to use because I thought I knew where they were. Yeah, yeah. and I moved and and I was if I would have known that ahead of time I would have done something different with my round. Mm -hmm. But like, you shouldn't maybe you shouldn't have that knowledge, yeah. right? Play it as real to the character in that moment. I love it. Can. Anything like that simulation yeah. increases the immersion like that. I love it. So uh, yeah, it's it's fantastic. All right, so you don't know what's going on back there. So then it goes right to Brother Ramius's turn. He will delay. He will delay. He's just watching that door like a hawk, waiting to see what happens. Talitha. Delay. Zephyr. Delay. Lucky. Delay. Boggles. Tom Delay. <laughs> Van Delay Industries. Round three would be uh, the bee creature's turn. Again, nothing happens. Now, you know from your uh, knowledge thing, the sugar rush ability lasts a certain amount of rounds, and then they become fatigued uh, for a minute. So you have to decide what you want to do here. Now two rounds have passed and no one has gone to the door. You're the one with this knowledge. Share it as you will. It is Brother Ramius's turn. Delay. Okay. Now it goes to Talitha. Delay. Zephyr. Delay. Lucky. Should I kick the door open? I mean, it's now been three rounds. Yeah, the only thing I fear in Lucky's mind is that there is a room we haven't seen and the bee is flying off to go yeah, tell... You. More the others. Yeah. And also, they weren't particularly strong. Strong. So, Lucky. Now! Lucky's gonna kick the door open. Jesus. <laughs> kick the door open, and you can see that, that it's, awesome. it's flown back to the top uh, of the room there, and it's just like. <sighs> <laughs> that awesome. Awesome. What a fun ability. Monster that ability. That's really cool. Awesome. That's exhausted. Uh, who's came up with the plan to do that? To shut the door? So, well, Matthew, after the knowledge check. Yeah. Oh, right. Bottle cap. Hey! hey! Nice work. Nice work. All right. What is the bottle cap economy looking like these days? Who has I, smell sex oh, and uh, I still have my bottle cap from episode yeah. one. My original I one, I still it. have. I have. Oh, now it's, oh, now it's it. my it's bottle cap. <laughs> <laughs> I earned the bottle cap. <laughs> Uh, Sydney's got two. Kate's got oh one. Joe's got one. My original and bottle Skid cap. Skid used his. We need like a. Uh, oh yeah, we have we have a tool for this. We need a craps thing. Slide it across. So everybody. Please has don't lean on the table. One. Please don't touch the bottle caps on the table. <laughs> I now have one. I used mine I th at some point in okay. the past combats. Uh, very very cool. Uh, yeah. So now this uh, creature is fatigued and lucky. You have two actions left. Yeah. So I am going to run up. Uh, up to the B. I have enough movement, and I can't do my double slice because I use my first action on the door interact, but I am going to single hit it with my, uh, what's my better word? Oh, blueberry, my, your muffin. My kopesh. <laughs> I'm going to swing and try to hit it with my kopesh. I'll raspberry your turn over. Uh, that was a natural two, uh, <laughs> so that's an 11 oh, to hit. Net. Nice try, cupcake. <laughs> uh, and Lucky just growls. Wait a minute, you like cupcakes. I'm going to take my action. <laughs> yeah, so you like me. Me. Uh, so that's my turn. All right, so now uh, Zephyr will go. I'll move you in the niche ord. Um, from where I am, just because now I'm out of volley range, I'm going to take my flurry of blows from here with my bow. Nice. Oh, and you actually can see the creature. It's amazing. I can see the creature. Uh, it's going to get a plus one to its AC. Because, uh, right. oh, sorry. Zephyr, you stepped up to there and attacked, right? Yeah. One thing I forgot to mention. Oh. As you stepped on that space oh, no. adjacent to the stove. <gasps> no. Oh, no. Something happens. No. I, mo I didn't step there. I stepped somewhere different, actually. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> the stove explodes. Whoa. Oh, no. Give no. me a reflex save. What? The actual hell. Now we get to test the phrase cat-like reflexes. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. 
I rolled a natural one. Oh, no. But, but I have cat's luck. I took this feat. You fail a reflex saving throw. You instinctively twist away from danger. You can re-roll the triggering saving throw. Awesome. Hell yeah. I like reflexes. Cat I like reflexes. 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 I'm going to use my Norse foundry, this beautiful ebony dog. I hear sh you're shaking in your voice. I can hear No. Natural 17. Hell yeah. Plus... To what 48. is my plus seven? So a twenty. <laughs> to forty-eight. <laughs> so a twenty-eight. Oh, yeah, twenty-four. Twenty-four. All right, that is a success. So you will take half damage from two d ten plus thirteen. Oh my oh god, my no! Thirteen. Thirteen. Two d ten plus thirteen. Okay, that, well, if that natural one had gone through, I'm, oh, that's, that's permanent. Dead. That's no, permanent. no, no, that's you're not. I'm, you're not permanent. No, I know, but I, I'm going down no matter what. Yes, no. you are going down. No, no, no. Um, no, 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 no. Um, you're going to take half damage. Oh right, right, right. Um, And I rolled. Uh, oh right, right. I rolled twenty-one. Uh, so you're going to take eleven, ten. Uh, ten points of damage. Excuse me. Uh, so ten points of damage. Slide. He tried. I tried. I tried. tried. That would have been forty-two points of damage Holy on my particular roll. That's unbelievable. I, if you didn't have that ability, you would, would be you dead. You would have died. Yeah. But I mean, you had two bottle caps too. You know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, do you we, did that bottle. Well, you kind of got to use them before you know, right? No, yeah. Yeah. no, you can roll a natural one and then spend it. No, like, no, he no. Wouldn't, he wouldn't have told me the, how much damage this fucking stove after the well, damage still, using it. You know, but on I, I, I wasn't one. saying anything because you, I, I, I knew you had caps, so I was gonna yeah. let you use the cap if you wanted to before I gave you the. Once so, I give you the damage, you can't be like, oh, here's a cap. This right? is this is crazy too, because yeah, if I was playing a different type of character, didn't have that feat and I feel like that is the way that one of my characters would die like it's not an epic battle a stove yeah, explodes a stove. in a kitchen remember when this that is stove what I did not exploded see that coming. just like all those cats in the 80s and when your Alpha hero died also, I, I saved that from everybody else <laughs> yeah we could have we could have all came into the room and that would have happened to all of us so yes. like Thank however you, lucky it does uh, affect the fairy the fairy takes damage oh, sick I hope that fairy dies uh, the fairy does not die um, but it does take that seems weird Oh, I took too much. That damage. doesn't really make sense. I Barry didn't, didn't die. I didn't. I took too much damage. Uh, no, no, it takes the same amount of damage that you took. Ten points of damage. Oh, because it passed its save. Yeah. Um, what about eleven points of damage? I'm gonna give her a ten. You take another one off. Uh, yeah, that would have been permajohn right there. That's what I'm telling you That's about crazy. this adventure slash two e in general. But you had caps. Yeah, you had caps. Uh, there was opportunity. It is. Uh, do you have, now it's your turn, Zephyr. Mm. Sorry. All right, here we go. Flurry of blows with my bow. Here we go, natural one oh, on that first, no. uh, first that is arrow. A, that's a fan fumble to start. Is, is it? Is a fumble. Do we have oh. to? The highs and the lows of the Kate rolls today. Mm. Okay, this one from Max in San Diego, California. Oh. Hi, Max. I swear to God, Max. <laughs> Failure to launch. You fire the bow, but instead of striking your target, the projectile slips from your grasp and lands at your feet. Oh, I thought it was going to hit an ally. I, yeah, I thought it was going to hit Yeah, that would have sucked. <laughs> Make a flat check. Oh. Just roll a d20. Okay. And tell me what it says. A six. Oh, that's bad. Is it? <laughs> what could happen? Um, you take half damage. Okay. From whatever, like, the shot would have been. So basically, you shoot yourself. You shoot yourself in the foot. So, so yes. that is what's happening. 1d8, but half. I rolled an eight. Sick. Uh, four oh, points of damage. Four points. Damn it. Max damage. God, that's like Robin Hood, Prince awesome. of Thieves. Oh, no, damage. I'm in a dice. <laughs> four. <laughs> Ow, fuck. <laughs> so Zephyr is getting very irritated. Oh, no. uh, her anger is building up. She's trying that. to hold it in, but she just shot herself in the foot. Yeah. And it's pissed. Maybe she was surprised about the stove exploding, but it could oh, have been maybe the she's like, "Lucky no!" And then like, <sighs> yeah, can could you imagine? you imagine fully, fully having your bow ready and shooting yourself in the foot? You have to go to the hospital. Yeah. I say again, startled. Ah! startled. <laughs> that is a blurry explosion. Flow. All your metatarsal bones are <laughs> broken. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. broken. I just, blurry, um, blurry of flow. I right. imagine Lucky running in. Setting off a, a stove, an oven explodes, and then you're facing off against this bee creature who can't stop, you know, gorging on sweets, and then you just hear Zephyr, <laughs> Zephyr, quiet, reserved Zephyr, just screaming Scream. in agony behind yeah. you. Perhaps this is the first time you hear her curse out loud, being like, fuck, like she's getting pissed. <laughs> um, that could have been a lot uglier, like if all of you stormed into the room, uh, that stove goes off, it affects all of you. That's uh, what Sydney said. Yeah. So, so second uh, flurry of blows, the, hit. Tank. Took the hit. The tank of the I'm team. going. Party okay, tank. that's a cracked eye. Relax, relax. everyone, Dude. relax. Relax. 
Oh no. It's a two. So I just miss a two well, on the die. Well, I miss. Is that might, not, might be a crit. Um, so that's one action. Second action, I'm coming into the room because I'm blocking everyone at this point. So she, oops, let me move oops. my thingy. You set off a second stove explode. Um, I walk up into the doorway so now I can see everything and I scoot boot over to where this banquette is. Yeah. Okay, so you come in and move to the left uh, over towards this uh, the southern wall where there's some cabinets uh, in this ram shackle kitchen. And now it is Buggles' turn, but Brother Ramius and Talitha have not acted yet, so you still could jump in at any moment. I'll defer to Talitha. Uh, Talitha will rush in after Zephyr because I can't actually see where this other bee creature is, so I will okay. move. Sorry, I collided with a wall. It happens. <laughs> that has a tendency to happen. <laughs> nice try, cheater. <laughs> all right. So I'm assuming your magnifying glass is out and not your weapon. As all as always. That's right. my that's my instinct. No, yes. <laughs> my rapier is out. Um, okay. Do you like I, how you walk under an archway to go in? Like your your pawn is under the. Yeah, it's cool. cool. Uh, okay. Talitha is just going to not devise a stratagem this time. She's just going to double move up to the bee creature. And I will take a strike. Oh, um, without devising a John. Wow. Bold. Reckless. I'll bake your cake. How dare you. <laughs> <laughs> what bakes my cake but I'll me? cider your donut. 13 to hit. 13 to hit. Even fatigued. That is not a hit. <laughs> uh, so tired. Brother so Ramius will hop in. Uh, All right. And he's just like, lucky. And he starts running in, seeing the explosion and the resulting horrifying damage. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, he will move into the room as a one move action. Oh, I didn't, so I hadn't seen any of this. <laughs> like, to see where you are, you're still pretty far away across the room and obviously hurt, but you're still up and fighting, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm okay. Uh, okay, at that point, when he sees this, he's going to um, cast his uh, his thing. His, um, Lance? Yeah. Divine Lance across at the B. Get away from her. Another natural two. Oh, awesome. Oh, Guys. Uh, and that's his round. Rough. Now it's Buggles' turn. All right. Buggles is going to run up on his little legs uh, behind <laughs> Brother Ramius. Uh, actually, if I can. His little legs. <laughs> he buckles on a wooden bridge. Like, yeah. boop, 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 boop. wait for me, <laughs> guys. It, it barely moves under his weight. Oh, he's so cute. Uh, and uh, he, okay. So I, I, the, the, it's weird. Like the the squares here. Like I'm not. I don't think I can. I, 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 the way that the map is, like, I can't stand in the middle of the bridge. Like, I have to stand on, like, either side, you know? Oh, yeah, it won't let you stand, so, like. Yeah, so I you'd can't. You have to stand on Ramius or right. get, go past Ramius if you want. Right. I what just want to be in a position where, like, I can see. You could just sit for one, can you? What if you just stand on the, ta- on the table? Well, you have to double move. Oh, because Oh, there you go. Yeah, okay. All right, okay. there we go. Um, so he sees. Zephyr and Lucky are both hurt. You see, Lucky's been you know, burned. <laughs> Lucky's and on fire. I hurt myself. Cat yeah, like, it's whiskers. all my fault. <laughs> and he's like, he says, oh no. And his eyes like flash and like, boom, this aura of fire surrounds him. And each of you in turn feel Buggles reaching out into your, into your minds to try Whoa. to help you. You each get four points of healing. Ah. Uh. What is, and do we always hear buggles? Like, or do we see things? Yeah, like, what does it feel like? What do you imagine? I, I think, like, you you sort of sense him. It's like feeling him, feeling him, like, embracing you or, you know, trying to, like, uh... Kind of like when you're when you're a kid and like your your parents are like you fall asleep on the couch your parents like carry you up to your bed or whatever <laughs> like that's what it feels like. Oh, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I just like feel Buggles' little hands or something. Like I just feel like yeah. a little squeeze. Yeah, virtually. That's so sweet. <laughs> a, li- a little <laughs> hug in your virtually. mind. A little hug to my brain. A little mind hug. A little, little mind hug. Uh, all right, it is the top of round four, and it is this Malixie's turn. Um, the sugar rush is over. It's fatigued, uh, but it doesn't want to die. So it is going to, uh, seeing that uh, the cat 
is weak, it will attempt to just straight up sting you. So it just like, yeah, yeah. Instead of shooting a sting at you, it tries to just launch its abdomen at your body. And that is a uh, 17 to hit. Nope, miss. It's a miss. Nice job. And then a 20 for the second John. Ooh. Yes. All right, so the second one. Wait, so is that a melee then with its stinger? Yeah. Oh, it's both it ranged and map? Yes. Yeah, I used the map. Okay. And uh, that's going to be four points of bludgeoning damage. Okay, well, I, you win some, you lose some. You win some, you the lose stinger some. stinger does Bludgeoning damage, not piercing well, damage. Well, just whacking, <laughs> whacking me, like yeah, whacking like, it around, oh, he's slapping it, it at you, whacking yeah. you with his his b hole. Oh, so there's no like poison associated <laughs> with it right now. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, yeah, it's not poison. The poison is on the range, but even then, it's like just poison damage. It's yeah, not yeah. Uh, like an actual poison. Um, and then we'll try one more time and miss on the third attack. And now it is Lucky's turn. <laughs> Luck. Double frickin' slice. There screw, you go. Screw Come on. this bee. I'll apply powdered sugar to your beignet. What? <laughs> what? You don't have me with a you good time. You had me. Not for long. And then I'm going to try to slice it down. I lightly dust your beignet with powdered <laughs> sugar. <laughs> That's a 12 for the first one. <laughs> I told you what I'd do to you. <laughs> it distracted you. A 12 for the second one. I'll take you to a farm and shoot you. All right. Uh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, whoa, wait. Whoa. That went from a bunch of cute, yeah. sugary puns and stuff yeah, to, like, I don't think you're Lucky's, murder. Lucky's finding that Lucky goes, wait, what? If what? You heard me. You have a gun? I, I should own it. No, no, Where's that's the not, gun? That's not what you said. Tell us where the gun is. No, 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 that's not what you said. You Stand back. Ah. <laughs> a bee's got a gun. <laughs> what is that? Bee's got a gun. I am going to try <laughs> to hit it one more time with my Kopesh. <laughs> I believe in you. Brutal. Brutal that's, round. Because wow. it's minus... Uh, what is it? For my third attack, if I use my double slice, it, either, does it have a full penalty? Yeah, so it's either eight or ten if you have eight yeah. if you have agile weapons, yeah, ten if not. Yeah, it's a miss. Oh. Brutal. All right, everybody's got a chance here though. This thing's on the ropes. To is be that- fair, Lucky's fucked up, so. Yeah, Lucky's yeah. A, a, a stove just exploded on her. Yeah. Uh it is Zephyr's turn. Zephyr, you got a nice clean, nice uh, clean shot there shot. between Talitha and Lucky. I know, but I have a long bow. You do, so you gotta take that minus two for the ball. So, could, can't you drop it and do your short? Or? Its AC was not particularly high. You could throw scones at it. Yeah, no one um, likes that. <laughs> Please don't throw scones Reaction. in my mouth. Please don't throw me in that briar. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't throw the scones in my mouth. No. <laughs> Please. Oh, wait, how did we get on scones? <laughs> <laughs> What's Please. happening? Um, drop my bow, move up to flank this Ooh. bee bitch. No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and chocolate chip yo cookie! Old fashioned <laughs> flurry of blows with my fisty fist. Oh, oh there you go. You're gonna nice. punch a bee? I'm gonna punch yeah. the shit, punch the shit no. out of, that out of this no. bee bitch. Give me a bee. No! Whack! Hmm. Fuck maths. 22 oh, for that yeah. first hit. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, Hell yeah. Oh. And I actually do more damage with my fists than with my bow. Oh, <laughs> trained great. martial artist. Because, you know. Ooh, max damage. Yes. Nine points of damage. Oh, oh, oh. And I punch that bee in the sh- face. And the bee dies. Bee yes. dies. Yes. yes. Oh. You just like planted that foot. Still waiting for Lucky to do something cool. Yeah. It'll happen. Oh, oh, no. We've heard that song now six times. Oh. It's just like, come on, one cool thing, Sydney. Sorry. One cool thing. Sorry, a stove exploded on me. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I was busy dealing with it's something. Not, it's not drop worthy. Stop. <laughs> what if her hair, her tail just like went full puff and her hair just like stood on edge? That's pretty cool. That's what she looks like right now. She's silly. And you are out of combat with these crazy fey creatures. More fey shit. What do you do? Uh, I go get my bow. Eat the, sto- <laughs> eat the scones. Well, we investigate the scones and that they look like they're not poisoned. We they look delicious. We have a scone. Yeah. Lucky hobbles over to the See table and sits down. <laughs> I go up to Lucky. I can't help you, but oh shit. Yeah. You got what happened? Are you okay? I'm okay. The fucking stove exploded. So I'm on uh, my fizzle. Come here. I'm lucky. trying to like lucky. rush your fur for No, you. don't, don't. Okay, sorry. <laughs> May I help? Yes, please. S- sit here for a moment. 
and he pulls out his healer's tools and he's going to treat wounds. Kneel down. Uh, put your head in the stove. No. <laughs> I need to treat something. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> It'll all be over soon. Oh. This will make you feel better. I, I, I can maybe help with this. I smell well. gas. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We, we both failed. Brutal. Both it's failed. Brutal. Brutal. Oh, man, this is, this is rough. Treat wounds. I'll be all right. I don't need it. I'm all right. And she stands up and she kind of brushes the like ashy fur that just comes off in like a clump. She just goes, oh. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Are you sure? Let's investigate the room. Take a minute. Take a minute. I'll sit down for a minute. We, it's uh, not going to help me, but I'll sit down. Search the room? Yeah, you and search the, the room. The Give me some uh, perception checks. And the uh, bodies of the bees. The bees have nothing on them except cookies. Nope. 17 I see perception. anything. 17 perception. I see nothing. I'm hurt. 14 for Brother Ramius. Yeah, nothing of interest. Uh, an exploded stove. Um, foodstuffs all over the floor. And then another door to the west. And another door to the west. Lucky you're sure you're able to move forward. Uh, I, uh, unless you want to stand here for another 30 minutes and then try again. Do we have an hour? Or an hour. It's been probably, it's probably we, 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 you tried for 10 minutes, I tried for 10 minutes, and then we uh, searched the room, so maybe more like 30 minutes? 40 minutes. Um, yes, just wait. I, I believe uh, I can help. Just give me a little more time. Just a half hour. Fail. Fail. <laughs> oh Let's keep God. going. It's fine. Oh, the burns there. I cannot reach them. I don't have the proper salve. The dice we have gods to for clearly want her to die. Let's yeah. just clearly. make it happen. <laughs> we can move on with our lives. Lucky just like licks her wounds, which is uh, making them worse. Uh, and she goes, let's keep moving. Having seen what we've seen from Brother Ramius's past, it is uh, perhaps rather fitting that he struggles to heal burns. Oh. Yeah. Actually, uh. yeah. Maybe it's you're true. a little yeah, shaky. Hands are a little shaky, and he's. I, I, I don't have the proper tools. This sort of, this sort of damage is, it's very difficult to heal. And you see, he starts getting like twitchy. Uh, and like Sandor Clegane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So every time you're trying to treat it, you just you see the faces of your brothers and sisters, like their skin melting off of them as you. I think Lucky just puts a paw on Brother Ramius's hand. She goes, "I've been in worse scrapes. I'll be all right. It's okay." Okay. She kind of gets up. All right. Come on. Are you sure you want to go in front still? I can maybe open this door. You need your range, don't you? Yeah, Actually, but I, that I can... punch was pretty awesome. Wasn't that awesome? That was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why don't punch you... to be. Why don't you, that, you lead the way? good. You lead the way for this one, and I'll, I'll back you All up. All right, I'll try to lead this time. So I listen at the door. Perception check. My magnifying glass. Right. Just kidding. Listen. I don't have that. <laughs> right up to your ear. Don't your magnifying glass. Making it harder to hear. How, do, how, do, how does this work? You're just you, bragging. You hold it up to your ear. Okay, got it. <laughs> Magnified sound. I don't hear anything. It's a minus two. That's a, that's a you've eight. created another wall <laughs> that's between your ear and the door. The glass up your ear. I hear the ocean. <laughs> Maybe you see that she's like not good at this. I rolled an eight. <laughs> Nothing. She like cups her ear completely wrong. Like, you, that's not how you listen? <laughs> that doesn't, you don't hear anything. She just covers her. Just holding it over your ear. <laughs> not a single sound. Um, slowly, carefully open the door to peek through. Take a little. Take a little peek. Gentlewoman's peek. Take a little peek for you. I take a little peek for you. You see a well-stocked larder that's similar to the kitchen has been thoroughly ransacked. Bottles, baskets, sacks haphazardly piled around the floor. Um, there's another door going out to the south, but in the middle of the room, there is a five foot wide wicker basket hanging, suspended from ropes that lead up to a hole in the ceiling that looks like it leads to a room above. Does it look like a pulley system? That's a really good question that we will find out next week. Oh. <laughs> Troy needs a week to think about that. Yeah. I haven't read that. <laughs> Find myself sometimes. Oldest trick in the book. 